Reporting from the Las Olas Riverhouse Condominium in downtown Fort Lauderdale, this is Darcy Lunsford. Hi, this is Darcy Lunsford with the South Florida Business Journal bringing you the latest business headlines exclusively on BocaRaton.com. Home and condo sales are slowing, but new projects continue to go up. In Palm Beach County, Toll Brothers is breaking ground on its 480-acre Jupiter Country Club. Now, the $670 million development will feature 362 single-family homes and 166 townhomes. Now, prices start at $600,000 and they dart all the way up to a million and a half bucks. A Greg Norman 18-hole golf course is also part of this new development. South Florida's marine industry is uniting to tackle a labor and dock shortage. The shortage is threatened to drown the $13.6 billion a year business. The marine industry turns up needs for 162,209 workers every year. The problem is there are thousands of openings for these skilled laborers which earn above average salaries. The Marine Industries Association of South Florida has produced a new DVD to promote marine jobs and educational programs are being launched to lure more youths into the field. Marine properties throughout the region are also facing development pressure with many owners deciding to sell out to residential developers. Now Palm Beach County is using a $50 million bond to help preserve marine access while also looking for new ways to boost slips and trailer parking at local parks. Now speaking of water, Everglades restoration and water projects are in short on cash here in South Florida. Federal funding isn't fully in place for the $8 billion needed to bolster South Florida's water supply. And despite the horrors of Hurricane Katrina, completion of a vital barrier holding back the waters of Lake Okeechobee might not be seen for nearly two decades. Now local officials are being warned, you guys need to come up with some alternative sources of water. The region's population is expected to balloon from 6 million to 9 million people by the year 2050. Now the competition to keep that Super Bowl coming back to South Florida is becoming as intense as the game itself. Local Super Bowl organizers are planning to pull up a super show during this February's game at Dolphins Stadium. The hope is to convince NFL owners that the region deserves to host the big game every three to four years. South Florida is bidding against about a half dozen other cities for Super Bowls in 2010 and beyond. Now the region has hosted eight Super Bowls, most recently in 1999. And the game is not all about having fun. The bowl is expected to draw 120,000 visitors who will drop about 350 million bucks in the region.